Weimer at Rescue One likes to say, if you're gonna do your act, do it on Broadway. This is Broadway, and Rescue One's just a few blocks from here. Broadway's their beat. A while back, they performed an act of bravery right up there that was the most astonishing thing you've ever seen. Watch closely. This is Rescue One in action. <laughs> Patty Barr wasn't even supposed to be riding with Rescue that day. He was just filling in. The 12th floor of the building was ablaze. It was a recording studio, and it was going up fast. Two employees were trapped in windows on two different sides of the building. We saw the two men hanging out the uh, 12th floor window. One was on one side of the street, and the other was on the other. Uh, we knew it was a real dangerous, sort of imminent situation. I uh, climbed out. At this point, the two patties ran up, and uh, Pat, Pat Barr, who was assigned the roof position and who was, who was going to be the, the guy to make the rescue, immediately started putting on, on the uh, life belt and, and rope. Uh, Patty O'Keefe held my legs, and I leaned out a little farther to try to hold this guy in because he was really, really in danger. So you're talking to him, saying, don't do anything. He's screaming, he's screaming at him. Yeah, and right. he looked up at me, so we knew we were there. The situation was, was so, so close and so imminent that uh, Patty was putting on the rope, and I and had Patty get up on here just to hang his leg over so the guy could see some, some help was coming. Now, at this point, there was, a, there was quite a, this is a real dangerous operation in of itself. Normally, a rope is tied to a substantial object on a roof, like a chimney. But this time, there was nothing to tie on to. For Lieutenant Brown, it was time to make a life or death decision. And we had about, you know, 20 seconds to either do it or not do it. The fire was raging. The victim was clearly in trouble. So Barr went over the ledge with only Kevin Shea and Pat O'Keefe holding the rope. Patty O'Keefe came, I had to put my feet up against the parapet wall. Patty O'Keefe came to help hold me down, because we had no substantial object. And as uh, we were starting to lower him, when he went over the roof, initially there was a pull, I was pulled up, and Patty was able to push me back down to the ground. Uh, we fed out some more line. I started trying to talk to him. And uh, with that, he didn't speak such good English, and he was so panicked and so, uh, you know, uh, ready to go, he just jumped on me. What in essence happened was the strain picked both of these guys up, up yeah, like way up like up this, and sort of was starting to pinion them off the roof. And another firefighter, Bruce Newberry, came by and pushed, them, and held them back down, Jumped right down, and pushed them back down. Because normally we, we, he would have been separately tied off, but as you can see, there's no way to tie this guy. That was the big danger, in, the, the more inherent danger involved in an already dangerous situation. <laughs> Barr now had the victim, but just barely. The men on the roof couldn't pull them back up, and the rope wasn't long enough to reach the ground. So they lowered them to the next floor. And while the other victim waited, Barr dangled 13 floors above the ground, desperately trying to get the attention of the firefighters inside. I'm holding it with two hands. I spun around once, punched the window, and I broke one pane. I spun around again, I broke the other pane. When I broke the second pane, the, the firemen uh, about 50 feet away seen me. They seen me out there and they ran, they got a hook and they pulled, my, pulled me in. this headway now. Now the fire was blowing out the windows. In fact, right next to where Patty had been 30 seconds before. There wasn't any more, any other roof rope ups up here yet because they couldn't get up here now. We were sort of stranded up here in a way. Oh, the so fire had grown beneath The fire it. had grown beneath it. It wasn't being, you know, uh, one yet. We only allowed to do this once. With one impact load, and we usually put this out of service. But the situation was we had to use it twice. 11 years ago, one of my best friends was killed when one of these ropes snapped. So Kevin Shea, who just lowered a man over the edge, now had to go over himself on a rope that he shouldn't even have been using. A few things weren't going the way we were trained, and uh, you start to get nervous that it's not going to come off right, just hoping that the victim would wait, and he did. And the situation was even more dangerous. There was one less firefighter on the roof to hold him. And then I was lowered down till I was opposite him. 
then I, I talked to him for a minute, real quick. Just told him we're gonna get out of here as fast as we can. Uh, put your arms around my neck, your legs around my waist, hold on as tight as you can. And he did that, then I held on to him. And then I just looked up and yelled to him to, down to the next floor. This time, Shea had a better grip on his victim, but no one knew if the rope would hold. The victims both survived with minor injuries. Move back. Move back. Let's go. Let's go. Several firefighters were taken to local hospitals. And the men of Rescue One were heroes that day. That's a pretty heroic and dangerous thing you did. Oh, thank you. Did you think about your neck when you're going out? I thought about my kids. Why that? Why, why did you think about your kids? Well, I, I figured the guy in the window had kids. He was looked old enough and... Uh, I don't want us, either one of us to, to go, you know, uh, over the side. Scared at all during this? It's pretty dangerous stuff. I was supposed to say no, right? <laughs> it has its moments. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. What do you think about when you're doing something like that? You got a family? Yeah, I got a family. Yeah. I think little Kev's proud right now. Yeah? I hope little Kev sees me. My name's Kevin Shea. And my daughter's Laura and my son's Kevin. And Kevin, when the man, when you grabbed the man, what did he say to you, if anything, and how did he clutch you? Should hurry up. <laughs> Should hurry up. Nah, uh, thank you. It was great, great feeling. You know. Be real proud of your guys. These guys. 50 years on a job, most courageous act I ever saw. These two guys hanging 13 floors. All right, Patty. Huh? Never hit. Hundreds of years with buckets of water. Yes, there have been a lot of technological improvements, but these guys still have to go into these buildings, sometimes on their hands and knees, and try to bring people out alive. We talk about heroes, sports heroes, cartoon figures. These are the real heroes. These are the unsung heroes. These guys put their lives on the line every day. I'm John Walsh.